Hi everybody, um, this is Universal Sachin here, and today as a tutorial we're going to do a can sandish uh, glitch hop kick drum style. So um, before we start, the main thing to know is that there's a huge difference between dubstep or electro kicks and the uh, glitch hop kick drum. Um, so with dubstep kick we can have some fat sound, high, highly compressed. And with electro kick, we can have some yes, highly compressed too, but uh, still clean sound. Um, that if, but in glitch hop, we can't. We must have a tight, sexy, but still powerful and a little bit live soundish uh, kick. Uh, so it's um, something different to do, and this is why us is this um, more difficult to to create. Um, so the first thing we're going to do here is to listen to a loop I've made and then um, we're going to listen to the kick alone so we can clearly hear how it does sound and then I will explain to you how I create that kick. Um, the loop isn't glitch hop uh, at 100% but uh, I think it's okay for the exercise. So let's start immediately after this. And now we're going to listen to the kick alone. Yeah, very powerful, very sexy and tight. So let's have a look to the reason for the. Um, okay. So I will bypass all the effects and delete all of these. Okay, so um, the first thing to do is to choose your sample. Here I've got three sample of kick. Um, nope, this is my hard hats. Um, um, so this one is from the Boy in a Band Electro Sample Pack. Uh, link in the description below. It's a uh, free, so make sure you grab it. It's the first kick. Um, I choose this one because uh, the attack and the low ends are pretty cool, I think. And then I choose the analog one um, because I want a live uh, sound and it adds something more to the body of the kick. Uh, so for this one you can have it in your Reason File folder. So here you got your Reason Factory on Bang, you go to Kong Patch, Kong Sounds and Samples, Bass Drum and you're looking for the analog okay and them here what I have it's uh, the bigger boom kick um, as you can hear there's not much that bass so I choose that one because it has nice high hands um, what I've done here I have um, add a high pass filter to get rid of the um, lower ends and so when I um, put all this sample together it isn't there isn't too much boominess to the sound okay and when you choose when you have chosen your sound one thing to do first is to go into the um, um, to go to the um, and a nano sample section and to um, decrease the decay so it's pretty tight um, okay so um, let's go ahead and create two equalizer because on the first one uh, what we're going to do is we've activated the low cut uh, for the param 2 we're going to um, reduce all the frequency here so you put everything down except for the Q all the way up and then for the parametric one um, what we usually do in electronical music such as dubstep or electro and even dub uh, drum and bass we're looking for the frequencies in uh, with which the kick will um, enters into resonance which is that resonance you can clearly hear it 
And in dubstep electro and drum and bass, what we do, we boost that frequency. Um, but in glitch hop, I said, no, no, no. We will try to reduce it more than six, three dB. And then with the high shelf, I just brings up a little bit the high hand to get a click. So, um, so after in the mix, you will be able to hear the kick um, more easily. And then I had another equalizer. So this one, I it's pretty <laughs> sick. So I activate the low cut, and for the low shelf, I reduce a little bit the bass of more or less minus three point four dB. And so it doesn't fight with the sub after. And for the parametric one, I just bring down uh, that frequency all the way down and the Q all the way down. And by doing this, um, I am um, how to say, I am making my uh, my kick pretty strong. And um, but we're losing some fatness that we do not want to glitch up. In fact. Uh, now I've had a compressor here, so um, with uh, high settings, uh, such as a low threshold here of minus 28 dB, that's uh, pretty low. And um, here I've put a ratio of more or less 3.82 over 1, which is um, a, a normal ratio, but for kicks usually you you do use a um, higher ratio. And I've had a... Um, and here the attack is pretty low on more or less 35 milliseconds and the release is more or less on 20 milliseconds, uh, 200 milliseconds, sorry. Because I don't want the compressor to be, uh, to have a release higher than the length of the kicks. Um, then I had um, a reverb for more presence. Um, what I've made with this reverb is uh, I've enabled the EQ and I've cut some low hands here. But in fact, uh, you do not really hear the difference between with or without the reverb. It's just to get some more glue to the sound, so when you mix everything, it's better. And then I had a limiter. So the maximizer, limiter in French, sorry. Uh, so the maximizer, here I've put the input gain all the way up, which is pretty harsh settings. Uh, I've at the 4 milliseconds look ahead because uh, it adds something to the sound. I don't know why, but it does. And then the output gain is more or less on 8 dB. I activate the soft clip because if I don't, you will see what it does. It clips a lot. So with the soft clip, it doesn't. Difference with it. It's a, li it's a little bit more fat. Um, when you add the f 4 milliseconds look ahead. Um, so, well, this is done. Um, you've got your Khan Sandish um, glitch hop style kick drum. I hope you liked the, this tutorial and that it helped you to recreate your own kick for that kind of music. And if it does, please uh, subscribe to my channel and have a look to my Facebook or SoundCloud pages. It does help. And um, if you have any request or any comment to tell me but well that's the comment section below to use or you can submit some some private message if you want have a nice day everybody and bye bye